Hey, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Bracket, the game show where you try to guess your favorite celebrities' picks, Bracket style. I'm your host, Matthew Robinson, and today I have video game streamer and also keeper of the Kraken, Braden Wheeler. Braden, thanks so much for being on our show today. Hey, thanks for having me, Matt. It's good to be here and uh, excited to, to go through these and answer some questions. I'm excited, too, because today we are going to be talking about favorite video game franchises. Oof. So, so I've got a quick question as we, before we get started here. Were you always like a fan of like the kind of the Battle Royale multiplayer games or more story driven games? I'd say definitely these days I'm, uh, uh, I, I took a video game class. They call it in university, they call it the killer, right? I like taking, I like taking people down. So the PVP, you're, you're taking on other people. These days I don't play much other than Fortnite or uh, a little bit of Warzone here and there. I like that. I like that. No, it's 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 interesting because you know when I was growing up and as when you were growing up, multiplayer mostly was someone had to come over to your house and play, yeah. or you had to do a LAN party, which was a whole other. <laughs> uh, I remember playing Time Splitters Three with a, like a LAN party and just like yeah. how different that was. <laughs> now it's like you can really play anyone from anywhere in the world, and that completely has changed. I think the multiplayer dynamic. Yeah, and I, I think that's what makes it more appealing too. Is just how compare. Like, if you do well, you're you're doing a well, doing well against people from all over, right? That competitive aspect is is heightened a little bit, and that makes it more uh, rewarding and frustrating at times, but rewarding when things go well. Now, with your channel, you have a lot of videos that have like tips and updates. All just, and it's very useful. I mean, it's, it's super good. I haven't played Fortnite in a couple of months, but I was yep. like, man, man, like these are useful, like kind of knowledge. Like, is this something that you feel like your fans have pushed for, or is this something that you were just always kind of drawn to do? Um, I mean, Fortnite. It's for I joined Fortnite because I saw it blown up on YouTube, honestly, and then I started playing it, and I found out why it's blown up. It's a blast. I absolutely love this game. Uh, borderline addiction at times, right? <laughs> when you're really grinding. But uh, I, I mean, the main thing for me is to share the news, share what's going on in the, the Fortnite world and kind of compact it all in one place. But uh, the visual, the part of the video that uh, you're, you're watching with your eyes is, is the background gameplay. So my driver for getting good at this game is to not only bring you the news, but also be the, the, the best player and give you the best visual experience for a news guy has always been that. So I don't necessarily give tips, but hopefully I played for a while. I play a decent amount per week. So hopefully you, you can get some tips from, from watching my videos. But there are better players out there. That's not my main focus. Well, I mean, you know, when, hey, when people are playing for a couple of millions of dollars. Yeah, there's really going to be some good players. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little intense. A little intense. <laughs> a little intense. <laughs> All right. Now, we're here at the Sweet 16. And we've got Mario, our old friend. He's back. And he's taking on an even older friend, Pac-Man. I mean, this is yep. the, the quarter gobbler right now. <laughs> it is. How do you choose between these two? See, I, this one's a weird one because Pac-Man's an old game, but I've recently become uh, uh, played this game a lot. My dad uh, gave me a call and he's like, "Hey, Braden, I'm getting this arcade machine with like 60 games. You want to get one for your house too?" I said, "Yeah, let's do it. It's uh, let's add it to the kind of the downstairs man cave area." And it's been a real hit. Everyone loves it, including myself, trying to beat records and. And uh, it just feels like old school games. So I went with Pac-Man just because I, lo I loved it before and now I'm loving it again in my 20s. I'm loving it again. It's, uh, it's kind of been a staple this summer here at the house with, with uh, me and my buddies. So it's, uh, yeah, I went with Pac-Man. I love that. I mean, I, I personally was not expecting Pac-Man to beat Mario and I'm sure a lot of people playing at home weren't either, but that, I love that choice and why you chose it, of course. I yeah. mean, every man's dream. <laughs> and, yeah, exactly. There we go. <laughs> All right. NBA 2K, taking on Call of Duty. NBA 2K was my brother's game. I watched a lot of it, never got good at it. Maybe it made me frustrated, put it down, never picked it up again. And Call of Duty is just, uh, I played a lot of Call of Duty. That one, <laughs> that's up there with, there's like three or four games in my mind that I've sunk thousands of hours into. Call of Duty is one of those franchises. I played a couple of those games. So Call of Duty takes the cake. Yeah, I mean, it's like NBA it comes out every year and it's like, hey, look, yep. a new Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, what'd you change this time? Here we go. <laughs> All right, let's take on to the red section of the Sweet 16. We have Super Smash Brothers taking on Wii Sports. Who did you uh, go with here? 
you guys did design this bracket so well. Like there, there were so many close calls. You, 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 uh, you ranked them well, and because uh, it was a hard choice. But I went with, uh, I went with Super Smash Bros. Oh, Super Smash Bros. Moves on to Elite Eight. I know that it had to be tough, but I mean, it's yeah. Super Smash. It is. I played too much of that game. What a, what a fun, casual, uh, easy way to bond with everybody, right? Any age, family, friends. It, what a great game. A lot of good memories. Now we have Pokemon, a gigantic franchise, going up against an equally gigantic franchise, Star Wars. Oh, you guys are killing me. This was one of the tougher ones. I, uh, I ended up going with Pokemon. Even though I'm a huge Star Wars fan, I just, uh, I played too many of those games and it uh, throws me back to uh, road trips I used to have with my family. We all, all five of the siblings would have our Game Boy and we'd all just play our, play, it'd be 10 hour drive. My dad would sit there drive and we'd all sit there and play pokemon so <laughs> a lot of memories good game good franchise good franchise good franchise indeed okay i'm sorry to tell you Braden. this is where things get incredible <laughs> i know i remember i remember going through these uh, the other day and I, I didn't like it man i felt right you feel like you're just choosing one friend over the other i don't know it feels wrong it does it does feel a little wrong but that's what makes this game so deliciously <laughs> evil <laughs> Pac-Man taking on Minecraft. Again, I gave you the Pac-Man story, loving Pac-Man lately, but Minecraft still uh, wouldn't be here without it. So I, I gotta go with, uh, with Minecraft. And that brings me to a very interesting question I wanted to ask you about, because I was doing some digging about you and I found out something I did not know, that you had an incursion war on the old Minecraft <laughs> Anarchy server? What, wait, what? Oh, that was, yeah, that was a, that was a fun and uh, weird time in my YouTube career. I don't know how many years it's been, maybe four, four or five years, but uh, yeah, there's this, this server, 2B2T, it's the oldest server in Minecraft, and I think I logged on, there were six people online, I, I just thought it was no rules, right, no rules, hacking's allowed, you just do your own thing, it's uh, survival of the fittest, anarchy, so we made an episode on that, my, my buddy and I, and uh, I think that video is somewhere up in the two millions now, three millions. And, and then we did a full on series on it. And even now to this day, I think there's thousand, thousand people waiting in queue to try and join that server. So, but I made a lot of people angry because a lot of people, uh, right. They like that chill, chill atmosphere. No one knew about it, the hidden gem. And ever since that series, it's been, it's, it's a whole different ball game. So I kind of apologize, but a lot of fun so i just i had to ask you about that no thanks for, i love yeah i haven't talked about that in a while i love talking about it <laughs> all right let's move on elite eight in the red section we have super smash brothers going up against crash bandicoot a series that is starting to kind of be revitalized they had the yeah, insane yeah. trilogy remaster now they have a new crash bandicoot coming out but Super Smash Bros. has been a staple of gaming since the N64 generation. Yep. Uh, I, I, yeah, I'm super excited to see Crash uh, uh, getting renewed, right? Please renew Crash Bash. Please <laughs> let me have it. Um, but yeah, Crash Bandicoot's my choice here. Ooh, kind of an upset there. Yep. All right. Well, hey, look, I'm not the one who's going to get comments uh, on my profile. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting in here. The final four. Let's keep things simple. Here in the Western region, we've got Minecraft from the blue region taking on Call of Duty from the purple region. Oh, this one was tough. You had me going both ways, getting pulled in two directions. I almost feel bad, but I had to go with Call of Duty. Ooh, Call of Duty moving on to the championship. Okay, okay, okay. I have a feeling this one might be a little bit more difficult. Because we have Crash Bandicoot going up against Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Franchise-wise, Pokemon, I probably played more diverse set of games. But I'm telling you, man, Crash Bash is a soft spot for me. I had to go with Crash Bandicoot. In what I will consider a major upset, possibly the biggest upset of this bracket, yeah. Crash Bandicoot advances past Pokemon. All right. Now we're here in the championship round we have call of duty taking on crash bandicoot two very different games might i add yeah. who is your winner 
Call of Duty. Ooh, Call of Duty taking over for your childhood favorite. Yep. Oh, it hurts, man. It hurts. <laughs> but it's, I just got to stick to it. That felt like the right answer. I played uh, played too much Call of Duty. To, to I couldn't lie. I couldn't lie to you guys. Call of Duty is the one. Totally understand. I mean, like you said at the beginning, you're you're a PvP guy. I mean, that's how it is. Yep, that's how it is. That's fun. Yeah, still am today. So, I, and I think that instilled a lot of it in me was that franchise. Brayden, thanks so much for being here on the show today. Yeah, thanks a lot for having me. It was super fun. It was a lot, a lot of fun. I am now going to probably uh, end this and then go play some Overwatch because yep, you're, love it. <laughs> you're making me like, oh, I got to play something right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll catch you guys again here on Bracket. Once again, thanks for playing.